Hey there, story lovers. Welcome back to another thrilling chapter of our tale. Today, we're diving into chapter two, where the sun sets over an enchanted grove, casting a warm golden hue. The whispering tree stands tall, its sprawling branches creating a canopy of mystery. Our trio, Kaido, Aiko, and Riku, gather beneath its majesty, each carrying the weight of their own fears. The air is thick with anticipation, as if the grove itself is aware of their inner turmoil. So, buckle up as we unravel the secrets hidden within this mystical setting. Let's get started. The sun hung low in the sky, casting a warm golden hue over the enchanted grove, where the whispering tree stood sentinel. Kaido, with his small frame and messy black hair, trembled slightly as the gentle breeze caught his hair. Aiko, adjusting her glasses, appeared dwarfed by the ancient tree's majesty. Riku, with her spiky hair and rebellious demeanor, paced restlessly, her fingers twitching with the urge to tinker with the gadgets strapped to her belt. As they stood in silence, the whispers of the tree began to weave through the air, a haunting melody that resonated with Kaido's deepest regrets. His expressive eyes flickered with uncertainty, memories of his family's loss flooding back. Aiko, sensing Kaido's distress, stepped closer, her own insecurities about her psychic abilities bubbling to the surface. Kaido, we need to face this together, she urged, her voice barely above a whisper. The warmth of her presence offered a fragile comfort, yet Kaido felt the weight of his guilt pressing down on him like a heavy cloak. Riku, ever the skeptic, crossed her arms defiantly. We can't let this tree control us. It's just a tree, right? But even as she spoke, the grove shifted subtly, the leaves rustling as if in response to her doubt. The trio exchanged glances, the tension palpable, each grappling with their own demons. Suddenly, the ground beneath them trembled, and a shadowy figure emerged from the roots of the whispering tree. It was a manifestation of Kaido's guilt, a dark reflection of his past that loomed ominously before him. The air crackled with energy, and Kaido felt his heart race. You cannot escape your past, Kaido. The figure taunted, its voice echoing with the pain of lost memories. Aiko gasped, her psychic abilities flaring to life as she reached out to Kaido, her own fears momentarily forgotten. Kaido, you have to confront it. You're not alone. Riku, though hesitant, stepped forward her rebellious spirit ignited by the need to protect her friends. Together, they formed a united front against the darkness that threatened to consume Kaido. As the confrontation unfolded, the grove responded to their emotions, the colors of the leaves shifting from vibrant greens to deep reds, mirroring the intensity of their struggle. Kaido felt the weight of his guilt pressing down on him, but with Aiko and Riku by his side, he found the strength to face the shadow. I won't let you control me anymore, he shouted, his voice ringing with newfound determination. In that moment, the whispering tree seemed to pulse with energy, its ancient roots intertwining with the trio's resolve. The shadow flickered, its form wavering as Kaido embraced his emotions, the whispers of the tree transforming from haunting echoes to a symphony of hope. The confrontation marked a turning point, not just for Kaido, but for Aiko and Riku as well as they began to understand the true power of their friendship. As the dust settled, a shocking revelation hung in the air, one that would change everything Kaido thought he knew about himself and his lineage. The grove, now calm, held its breath, waiting for the trio to uncover the secrets that lay buried within its roots. And that's a wrap for Chapter 2, folks. Don't forget to subscribe to Storyteller for more adventures. Until next time, keep dreaming.